Hi everyone, Tim the Plane Man here and welcome to Plane Time. I want to give you a warning. Whatever you do, don't mess with the default channel order on your Jumper T-Lite OpenTX radio. And probably, I'm pretty sure, don't mess with the default channel order on your well, any multi-protocol OpenTX transmitter. Here's the deal. Um, you can very simply in the radio configuration of your transmitter, which the OpenTX comes standard out of the box with AETR. Aileron on channel 1, elevator channel 2, throttle channel 3, rudder channel 4. And it, it, it works out of the box. And uh, what I did that, um, I got my transmitter, I wired it up, I bought some um, second-hand planes and I had a mixture of DSMX and um, FR Sky and Fly Sky uh, receivers and, and everything worked. Then I had someone who said to me, listen, if you're going to be using Spectrum, you should be using TAER. Why have you got your radio set to AETR? And I thought about that for a little while and I also thought, well, kind of T-A-E-R seems a little tidier as well, kind of neat and tidy, you know, one, two, three, four, starting with the throttle and starting with the front of the plane. Throttle at the front, ailerons in the middle, rudder and elevator and rudder at the back, T-A-E-R. It all seems nice and tidy. Why don't I just clean everything up and, and, and there's a setting here, I can change it. So I went into the, the radio settings on my radio and changed the AETR to TAER, and you know, weird things started happening. Strange, unexpected things. Um, so, firstly, the, the models that I already had set up with AETR, well, they didn't seem to change, and I, I found that the motor stopped working on one of my models. I didn't know what was going wrong. I thought something burned out. I thought, I, honestly, I thought I burned out the motor. And then I started setting up my... Then I started setting up all the electronics on my uh, Sopwith Camel that I'm building. And I plugged everything in, fired it up. The, uh, the radio that I thought had been working, well, the motor didn't work on that either. Um, even weirder, uh, I would turn the let's say the elevator servo, fiddle with the elevator servo to make sure the servos are working, suddenly the motor would start running. And, uh, and it would just run, you know, at 100% uh, until I unplugged the battery. All kinds of weird and strange things started happening because I changed the default channel order on my radio from AETR. Now, I did next what I should have done in the first place is read the information and to be fair, it's not that easy to find. Um, you can't even, it's not actually on the OpenTX website itself, it's on a separate website called multiprotocol.org where the information about the OpenTX multi-protocol radio is found and I'll put the, the link um, below so that you can you can see it. I've got some screenshots um, where you can see some warnings like channel orders is particularly important for DSMX receivers which require channels in TAE order. If you use DSM, continue reading. It's a warning. Okay, so, well, haven't I done the right thing? I set it to TAER. Um, but no, because the default multi-module expected channel order is AETR. And that's bound into the firmware that you get with your transmitter. Now, if you're an advanced kind of person who can, you know, build or find and, and install a, a different firmware that, that also has TAER, then what you need to have in your radio setup, in the channel setup, has to match what is in the firmware. And if it doesn't, weird things start happening like happened to me. And so the simple answer is when you're using multi-protocol card, a transmitter like Jumper T Lite or some of the others, the Jumper T16, and several of the newer radios that come out that have multi protocol support, they expect, again, from the manual, from the instructions, it expects AETR, 
ailerons, elevator, uh, throttle, and rudder, not T A E R, throttle, ailerons, elevator, rudder. And the last piece of the puzzle is the answer to the question you probably just had, but it says DSM requires T A E R, and the, it says that the fault channel order is A E T R. So, what How's that supposed to work? The answer is OpenTX will automatically map the channels for you. OpenTX knows that if you have a DSMX receiver connected to a multi-protocol transmitter that's set to AETR, it will actually change the channel order when it sends the information out to the to the uh, receiver for you because it knows it's a DSMX, it knows that protocol and it has several, uh, it's all documented on the website, the ones where it actually does it with the DSMX is the most obvious one. So again, if you mess with the default channel order, you mess with the mapping. The default channel order setting is AETR and you must have channel 1 set to ailerons, channel 2 set to elevator, channel 3 set to throttle, channel 4 set to rudder in your mixes it has to be in that order for things to work if it's in that order in the mixes if you bind to a dsmx radio OpenTX will translate it will actually take channel three and send it out on channel one and it does it for you seamlessly and without you knowing and that's great when you know you do what i did which is just turn it on and try to start using it and everything works when you mess with things, you're messing with that default standard configuration that flows all the way through from your inputs to the mapping to the output to the to the mapping that goes th out onto the receiver. And again, weird things start to happen. Your motor doesn't work. Um, your elevator and your ailerons come on when you when you um, when you throttle up. Um, the strangest things and most unexpected things happen. And if you had you know, God forbid, a prop on your plane when, when this started to happen, you know, you could you could really cause some damage or even worse, uh, or just as bad, um, you could break your favorite plane while you're in the middle of building it, which almost happened to me. So, unless you're advanced, unless you know what you're doing, and you know how to get or build the firmware that contains a different channel mapping to what the radio is currently set to, just don't change it. The default ma channel mapping is AETR. It needs to be AETR. It really, it shouldn't even have an option there to change it because uninformed new user without their information can can easily just um, create a whole bunch of pain and and waste a whole bunch of time, which is what happened to me trying to figure out what was going on. Um, this actually all started from a posting on the uh, the GitHub for the development of uh, Companion, where someone complained that, oh, I set the default channel order, and when I did that, it didn't have the, imp the effect that I thought on the model, because the model didn't change, because the model took the channel order from when it was created. Well, that is, again, part of the problem. The models are now locked into a channel order that's not set with the radio, and not set to the, um, to the firmware that's in the radio. Um, it makes it all really quite confusing to understand what's going on and I'll, I just want to say it, I don't know if I can say it enough, whatever you do don't mess with the default channel order on your multi-protocol OpenTX radio like the absolutely awesome Jumper t light. I love this radio but don't mess with the default channel order. This is Tim the Plane Man with your public service announcement Plane time. Hope that helps. Uh, like, subscribe if you like, uh, and see you soon for an update on the build of the Sopwith Camel. Have a good night.